Okay, so I have asked you last time to write a paragraph or an essay or whatever you want just to speak about the features and functions of a certain device according to your choice. So who wants to start? Uh, yeah, Mohind or uh, Awan Mohind. Can you read your paragraph, please? Are you even listening to me? Yes, Miss, we hear you. Yeah, great. Please, uh, would you like to read your paragraph? Uh, okay. Okay, uh, go ahead. Okay. Yes. So, a lot of people use a computer and its devices almost every day, whether for work or play, but a lot of them um, aren't quite sure what it applies to. A storage device is a piece of hardware which is primarily used to store data. Every desktop computer laptop, tablet, and smartphone will, will have some kind of storage device within it. There are external storage devices that you can use across devices. Any storage device can save data, but most used for me uh, are the SSD, solid state drive. SSD is a portable data storage for companies. They can easily and surely transport large quantities of data and enables their employees to become more mobile, supplementing uh, their notebook memory and uh, improving their over efficiency. If we talk about the speed, we notice that SSD allows us to fast speed. They have uh, 100 times great throughout boot and instantaneous access time for quieter boot ups, um, fast file transfers. We conclude that external hard drive are used for backup <coughs> um, and we use the SSD to move files from uh, a computer to another for long-term and large capacity. He still the best choice, but it also depends on how much storage we need, how much we worry about physical damage and how much we are uh, using it to spend. Yeah, thank you so much. I love the conclusion. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Another person, please. I know that you have done the job, so you just go ahead and expose it. Yes, I can read. Yeah, go ahead. So my paragraph is about computer keyboard. Mm -hmm. Computer keyboard is an input device that is used mainly to enter characters into the system by pressing buttons, and also to control many functions as media, volume, volume, and screen brightness level. The keyboard contains keys for individual letters, numbers from zero to nine, special characters, and special keys for specific functions. Uh -huh. It can be connected to a computer by a USB port, or it can be wireless without any cables. It can be integrated in the case of laptops. It usually features mechanical switches to press on with fingers, but now there is digital ones and virtual ones too, which are smaller and look magical and allow the user to type his text quickly and softly. Among different features of the keyboard, there are some awesome and very fantastic ones like the per key backlight, which is a lighted keyboard, and this is so helpful and beautiful to have, especially for gamers and people who work in dark locations. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is also the spell resistance feature, which is very important to protect the device and work very comfortably, knowing that nothing can harm it. Nothing can harm it. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's it. That's it, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Thank you so much. Another person, please. Uh, may I? Yeah, you could. 
um, the device that I wish to talk about is the microphone. It's an input device that allows the user to transfer their voice to the computer by converting the analogical signal that the microphone receives into a numerical signal that the computer can understand. It's a very versatile tool that allows anyone to use a computer or a phone thanks to, uh, to speech text programs and voice commands. Any person that cannot type but can speak can now use the computer thanks to the invention of the microphone. It even makes the use of a computer easier even to those who can type. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so that's it. Uh, it's a short, short paragraph. Should I should I have written more about it? About uh, no, it's no. Uh, I liked it. It's so inclusive, and you just uh, mentioned the most important details about it. No, it's okay. Uh, it just okay. Thank you. Never mind. Another person, please. Can I read? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are listening. About the printer. Uh, what's your paragraph about? About uh, the printer. The printer, okay. Mm -hmm. The printer is an output device and is used to represent data uh, as great as uh, text, usually on paper. There is different types of uh, printers like laser printers, wireless printers, and 3D printers. Printers can print documents from different apps or computer peripherals as uh, digital cameras, uh, memory cards, and scanners. Uh, we, we found also shared printers used uh, frequently in uh, companies uh, to share the same device. They are usually connected to the same network, uh, and they can print the uh, documents with uh, high speed to serve all users in a short time. Most printers are colored in system produces images and image products. Mainly can be used with this computer by, by introducing a memory card or a USB to the software. Yeah, thank you so much. I think I have already commented on your paragraph, right? I don't know, Mr. because I, I, I sent you uh, uh, an email with the paragraph. Yeah, yeah, I have read it already. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Yeah, another person, please. Uh, I can read. Okay, just a moment. I'm going to put my headphones on. Okay. Okay. Uh, excellent job, Mohammed, by the way. Please, go ahead. I go. Okay, so a uh, it's about uh, cameras. Cameras, okay. Yes. So a camera is an input output to many people, either by professionals or amateurs. It can come as a unique purpose device or be integrated in a mobile phone. This device is used to take pictures that can be stored locally or transferred to another storage device. It has lenses which can determine the quality of the photos, um, of the photos, among with many other factors like ISO sensitivity. So there are many varieties of camera, from the professional one to to our smartphones one. You can choose one depending on the purpose of your purchase. Okay, you can just take a picture of the baby is next to you. <laughs> okay, it's my niece. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, another person, please. You can I read. Okay. Okay, uh, so yeah. my paragraph, yeah. My paragraph uh -huh. was about smartphones. Uh -huh. So, <clears throat> smartphones are the new and improved updated version of a cell phone. It has multiple functions and features that define it from a, cell, from a normal cell phone. In a normal way, cell phones are used to mainly make phone calls, receive, and send text messages. But smartphones can do a whole lot more than that. When it comes to features, the smartphone has an updated silhouette, 
digital screen. It lets you use data or Wi-Fi, which means you can connect to the internet easily, which is not possible with the old cell phone. Yeah. And uh, yeah, nowadays it's used for almost anything from calling to texting to playing games to even managing a business. Yeah, yeah. we can we can both do some like serious activities and we can just go ahead and do entertainment, games and amusement. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, another person. Is that all? Hello. Hi. Okay, I can read mine. Okay, what's about? It's about wireless headphones. Okay. Wireless headphones are small electronic speakers that a user can wear close to his or ears to listen to sounds provided by the device, but that are not connected to the device by wires. The sound mm -hmm. is transmitted from a device, such as a digital music player or smartphone to the headphones using radio frequency waves. They can be as large as paddle cups, padded cups that cover the ears or a, as small as earbuds that fit snugly into the ear canals. The benefits of wireless headphones is that you can do things that are far away from your device or things where the cord might get in the way. For the latter, yeah. exercise on a treadmill is an example. For the former, cleaning the house is a good example. But of course, doing these things can affect your device if you're not careful. For example, a person who exercises can get quite sweaty, which can affect the, the device. This is where yeah. the features comes in. So you can waterproofing. Yes, there are wireless headphones you can reliably wear while swimming. Another feature is noise counseling. It enables us to tune with what we're trying to listen to without outside distractions. That's all. Uh, thank you. But uh, the ones that you already spoken about that can resist water are pricey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Another person, thank you so much. Uh, you are useful. Yeah. Hello, miss. Can I Hello? read mine? Of course. Okay. Mine yeah. is about flash drives. Uh huh. So flash drive. So flash drive, sometimes called the USB device, drive or stick, thumb drive, pen drive, jump drive or USB memory, is a small storage, de storage device that includes flash memory with an ing integrated USB interface. USB flash drives are often used to, uh, for storage, data backup, and transferring of computer files. Compared with the floppy disk or CDs, they are smaller, faster, have significantly more capacity, and are more related to lack of moving parts. Yes, Unlike more sophisticated. More yeah. sophisticated. Uh -huh. Unlike traditional hard disk drives, flash drives lack moving parts. They are solid state drives that are less vulnerable to damage from drops or shocks. And they are also considerably smaller than other types of data storage devices, which makes them easy to store in convenient places such as pockets and keychains for increased portability. It's much more difficult to do this with hard drives as flash drives are often no longer than a few inches at most, with widths measure measuring less than an inch. Some flash drive designs may be larger in many cases, such as wider business card flash drives, but these designs pl place emphasis and uh, customization over portability. Today's flash drives offer a lot more storage space than older ones, with many of them capable of storing up to one, uh, 128 gigabytes at maximum. Flash drives with one gigabyte or less of memory are often at least uh, the least expensive and are often great for businesses to buy in bulk for mass distribution. However, if you require a backup for a hard drive or need to run certain programs, more storage capacity is ideal. Today's USB devices have transfer rates of up to four gigabytes per second, which is speed the uh, the other storage devices can't match even the farthest hard disk drives uh, only reach transfer speeds of uh, up to 150 megabytes the usb interface has become one of the best ways to connect flash drives to nearly any device whether you have a laptop netbook or desktop you will likely find it has ports for three or more usb drives to allow you to plug in these devices without issue this is far better than a lot school sd memory cards for which many computers don't have slots as flash drives continue to become more popular over time, more and more people will be able to see the benefits that these devices provide over other types of storage devices. Why far from new, it's unlikely we will see a physical device come along 
to the in the near future that's as compatible and innovative as flash drives continue to be thank that's you it. so much thank you so much i liked it uh besides it's uh, your own work i guess yes of course yeah okay uh, i mean i know that the others also did their own job but it's like uh, i felt it like it's with your own words more from internet or something like that okay yes, who wants to read You have sent me many mails, so you can just read it. Can I miss? Yeah. Uh, I apologize, I apologize. Uh, uh, were we supposed to send you the paragraphs uh, by email before this session? Uh, no, it's okay. Since you have read it, it's okay. So no worry about it. Uh, can, I can I send it after uh, the, the course? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Never mind. Okay. Uh, it's about the graphics tablet. Uh -huh. the, the, graphic ta uh, the graphics tablet is typically connected to a computer via a USB port. It consists of two parts, the flat surface for drawing and the pen, the stylus or the pack that is programmed to work with the tablet. The graphics tablet is the flat portable pad which al allows to the, the users to draw, write, and perform the software functions with the pen. It is used by the graphic graphics designers and the illustrators. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Okay. Simple, easy peasy. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome. Um, Maria, read your paragraph. Maria, uh, I don't know. You want to read? Don't be ashamed, just read your paragraph, what you have written. Yeah, of course, you can. Hamid, yeah. What have you written about? Keyboard. Keyboard, okay. A computer keyboard is an input device used to enter character and the function into the computer by uh, pressing button or key. It's uh, the primary device used to enter text. A keyboard typically contain a key for individual letters, number, and uh, special character. Mm -hmm is uh, connected to a computer of course uh -huh. yeah using uh, a cable or uh, cable or wireless uh, connection uh -huh. typical keyboard for a desktop computer typical keyboard Most uh, keyboard have a uh, very similar layout. Uh, can I can I ask you something? Yes. Uh, are you reading or are you just uh, thinking and uh, explaining at the same time? Thinking. Okay. Nice. Okay. The, the individual key for letter and then the uh, most keyboard have a very similar layout mm -hmm. uh, the individual uh, keys for letters and number special character mm -hmm. activity called the character keys mm -hmm. mm. so it allows us to type any form of uh, writing we want yes 
uh, whether it's letters, numbers, or other symbols, shapes, etc. Yes, special characters. Mm -hmm. The most uh, used light in the English language is called uh, QWERTY. Uh -huh. Named after the uh, seconds of the first six letters from the top left. Uh -huh. Thanks for the information. I finish, yes. Yeah, thank you. Who, thank you so much. Who wants to read? <laughs> Iman, read yours. Have you read? Which, uh, is, which email me or uh, the delegate? The delegate. <laughs> is it serious? Are you stressed out? What's wrong with you guys? You just go ahead and expose your paragraph. It's just a reading. مادام يا ماركي اي تونس لي حامد مادام قال لك باراغراف اوف كورس اي ويل دون وري اباوت ذات مادام بصح كاين ليست دو بريزونس يس كونسيرنين ذات ويل ام غونا سويتش ذا لانجويج سينس سينس يو ار هير انا كيفاش لا ديركريس قالت لي شغل ما كاش كيفاش باغ اكزومبل واحد جا من اسيستام او واحد اسيستام ماشي كيف كيف دونك كاين هذا فور اكزومبل كيما هذا الهوم وورد راح يكون عليه لي نوت راح يكون منوتي اكسيتيرا دونك لازم نعرف انا شكون كنحاضر شكون لا لا اسكو زافي كومبخي بيان سور دونك وعلى ليكزام جو فولي اكسبليكي بلي ليكزام راح يكون جوست ابخي لي فاكونس يا خي سي بور سا زدنا شويه وقت باغ اكزومبل نتوما عندكم اين اور مي حنايا اون ايساي دو فار اون اور ايدمي باش نتوما تليبيرا و ابخي يكون عندكم لي الوقت لي وسمو قريتكم لي مور دو فوندامونتو تاعكم وي جو كخوا كو سون بون ايدي مدام بريزونسيال ليكزام Uh, concerning this, I don't know. I can't. Uh, I can't be one hundred percent sure, but maybe it will be on the class, not online. Another questions uh, regarding the exam or the lesson. Both. Okay, so if we do an online exam, will it be like, um, do, will we have to send an assignment or will it be live? Maybe, uh, like, uh, how did you used to do them uh, previously? Oh, last year we had to send an assignment and I failed this uh, module because I didn't send mine. Well, you see, that's, uh, well, to avoid all these issues, Maybe it's going to be uh, on present on class, not here online or assignment or whatever, because, you know, in Algeria, there is problem of network, etc. So to avoid all this yeah. stuff, we're going to be dealing with it on class. OK, okay. I, I didn't send it because I wasn't aware of it. That's all. Yeah, you see. OK, uh, so would you like to read any others who want to read? No one? Hello, Miss. Can I read? Okay, read it. A uh, computer monitor works as a notebook, uh, output uh, device uh, sorry, that device sorry. helps to provide. Sorry, Zina, what, what is it what? about? What is it about? Computer monitor. Okay. Computer monitor work as an output device that device helps to provide graphic and text-based output. It is commonly used to produce uh, to produce 
different type of outputs such as text and graphical representation. The monitor has various components such as electronic, electronic circuits and buttons. There are various internal parts of computer monitor screen and the very part has own special functionality such as LCD screen. Computer monitor screen are liquid crystal display, uh, displays uh, which are constructed by the, the film transistor. And uh, there are many types of computer monitor function and here we will uh, spray the light on various pixel huge amount of pixel are uh, existed in the screen of computer monitor which have small square fr uh, from that uh, in nature best resolution better computer monitor resolution varies according to the number of pixels we have to provide help for displaying the image on the computer screen and uh, about the fe uh, feature of monitor, computer monitor used as an output device on the monitor, display information in graphic from that is more user, uh, useful for users' understanding. Computer monitor have to contain various components such as power supply, circuit board, casing, and display terminals. In our computer monitor, we use the cath uh, cathode ray tube. In lattice monitor, they use technology such uh, as uh, LCD and TFT LCD. They are also connected to various components such as DVA and uh, HDMA and display power. Today, monitors are energy efficient and are more affordable. They provide better image quality and are usually cost effective. Mm, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, is there any person who wants to read? Who wants to read? Uh, miss, can I read? Yeah. Salah. Can you hear yeah. me? Of course. Okay. So the phone is one. Um, my essay is going to be about smartphones. Uh huh. Um, the smartphone is one of the most used connected devices that people are use uh, that people use on a daily basis. You can use them for uh, pretty much anything ranging from serious activities like remote jobs, Bitcoin mining, regular work, to activities related to entertainment like listening to music, chatting with friends, or playing games. Smartphones are small computers, so like any co other com computer devices, they follow the more law, which means uh, they are getting more and more powerful and cheaper every single year. By you, uh, they usually have a big screen and mostly two kind of buttons, uh, one for the volumes and the other kind uh, for power on and off. Most smartphones that are available today on the market today are either powered by Android or iOS operating systems. And uh, yes. in a nutshell, smartphones are present in all aspects of life because the future is inevitably uh, digital. And uh, mm -hmm. how the revolution is going to be, to be is one of the most exciting things for computer enthusiasts in general. So that's, this is my essay. I uh, thank you so much. I liked it. Thank you. Very inclusive you. and uh, yeah. Is there another person who yes. wants to read? Miss, sh shall I read? Yeah. Uh, I did it about uh, the mouse, a basic simple one. Okay. So, uh, to, to manipulate and provide signals and data to the processing system, we use certain equipments called input-output devices. The mouse is a handheld pointing hardware input device which is being wired or wireless. It, it needs to be put on a hard flat surface to use. It works by simply moving it for, for smoothly control the movements and coordinates uh, the screen pointer across two-dimensional plane. Once you let it go, the cursor stops. Yeah. This device is for moving the cursor all around the screen by dragging and dropping it where, where the user wishes. It is used for clicking whatever the user wants with the left button, selecting and moving as well as opening, executing, closing a program, document, application, folder, etc. Scrolling past some files with uh, the scroll wheel in the center. Thus, it's, uh, it's better at are also more or less for performing these functions and other ones like giving much details and additional menus uh, to the user for what he wants to do next. 
with the right button, which is also called cascade button. This equipment might also have more than buttons and touch surfaces. It is adapted to the user's needs more and more throughout the, throughout the years. The mouse is the most commonly uh, used device. It is for helping and easing the interaction for the user. So he and the computer are relying on it. That's it. Thank you so much, Miss. Thank you. Never mind. Who wants to read? Miss, can I read mine? Yes. Uh, what's your name? Kisum Nidal. What's your name? Nidal. Are you Algerian? Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, about, yeah, yeah, it's about, yeah, what do you miss? Uh, what is it about? It's about a uh, microphone. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, microphone is plastic device used to translate sounds and vibrations in the air into electronic signals or scribe them to a recording medium. Microphones enable many, many types of audio recording devices for purpose, including communications of many kinds, good and bad, mm -hmm. as well as music and speech recording. Often, microphones are designed for a given purpose. One of the main considerations, aside from the type of device, is what is being recorded. Always, better, better microphones transmit sound more clearly and softly. Yeah. Millions of beloved, yes, uh, millions of uh, beloved black microphones were made around the world. There are unusually waterproof microphones to use underwater too. There are those who find large microphones noisily. Uh, that's it, miss. I didn't finish it yet. Okay, thank you so much. It's still good. Thank you. Who wants to read? No one? Miss, can I read? Yeah. <laughs> The device is a graphic tablet. Uh -huh. Graphic tablet is an important device, device and they have many function and features. Uh, it has, it has. It has. It's tablet. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. We can use it, the tablet, uh, the graphic tablet to hand draw image and also be used for capturing data and handwriting. Signature and handwriting signature. Mm -hmm. With a special pen. And we can use it to trace an image from a piece of paper which is taped for otherwise secured to tablet surface. The device is very important for many jobs, like architecture and mechanic. Yes. Class, madam, say. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, another person. I'm going to give you a chance. No one? Wait, a chance to read again? No. Okay. Can I read? Yeah. Uh, it's a paragraph about keyboard. Yes. Computers started out basic calculators, but now we use them to talk, to play video games, to control robots, and any crazy thing. Computers have two types of devices, input devices and output ones. The input devices are used to input users' data into the computer, while output devices are the process data that we receive from the computer. One of the most important input inputs is the keyboard. So what's the keyboard? A, a computer keyboard is an input device used to enter text commands and numerical data in the in the computer by pressing buttons or keys. The uh, sorry. Take, yeah. Uh, just to point out to something, it's really a good way to start, like with a question to attract uh, to attract the reader attention. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Go ahead. You're welcome. One of one of the most important inputs is the keyboard. So what's the keyboard? A computer keyboard is an input device used to enter text, commands, and numerical data into the computer by pressing buttons or keys. 
The keyboard contains keys for individual. Uh, who are you? Owen, Owen, Mohan. Owen, okay, go ahead. Uh, I did the uh, say about the network interface card. Yeah, I didn't have the chance to read it, to read it, but since yeah. you are here, you just go ahead and read it. Okay. okay. Computer was one of the biggest invention in entire history. It helped people in their lives so they can do hard tasks in the most easiest ways. Over time, people need to communicate with each other. So they invented something that can relate between them. It's what we yes. call a network. And in purpose to make a network, they need something called uh, something called a network interface card. So, mm -hmm. so what's a network interface card? It's a hardware component, typically a circuit, a board, or chip, which which is installed on a computer so it can connect to a network. It's also called network controller or LAN adapter. The network operates as a middleman between computer and the data network. NIC is a device which is, which is used to convert data into a digital, a digital signal. Also, mm -hmm. uh, NIC offers both wired uh, using cables and wireless using uh, Wi-Fi data yeah. communication techniques. There are many types of uh, network interface card, uh, like uh, wireless ones, which use antenna to provide wireless reception through radio frequency waves. Also, wired ones that uh, have input jacks ma made from cables. There, there is also USB and fiber optics. With the technological de development, scientists created some cool, uh, some other, some cool and amazing devices to make life more easier. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, so, you meant scientists created? Yes, miss. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. Welcome. Who wants to read? Have you all read? Okay. We will move to the grammar review. Uh, so, could you tell me please what's quantifier? I have given you last time an exercise about uh, grammar. And you were supposed to find the elements on, on the text I have given you before. So now I'm just trying to, let's say, um, well, make a summary about grammar and then we will we'll move to the exercise. Uh, who would like to tell me what's quantifier? Uh, like so many and if you or any and no. Those. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. those. Okay. Have you done the exercise at all? Yes. Great. So, uh, we can say, for example, that quantifier is a word that usually goes before a noun to express quantity of the object, right? Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to give you a word and you tell me whether we use it with countable uh, or uncountable nouns. What about little? Do we use it with countable or uncountable nouns? Uncountable. Uncountable? Yeah. Few. Uncountable? No, countable, it? countable, countable. Thank you. For example, we don't say a uh, few water. Yeah. A lot of. Uh, both. Thank you. So we could say, for example, a lot of water, a lot of flowers, a lot of, a lot of, etc. So what about many? Countable. countable. Thank countable. you. Yeah, countable. No. Countable. Much. Uncountable. Thanks. Uh, and in negative form, we say, for example, for example, you say, do you have some water? No, I don't have any, instead of some. We mm -hmm. usually use it, yeah, in negative form. And okay. if you want to use any in an affirmative sentence, we use no. We say, I have no water. It is an affirmative sentence, but we use the no to use the affirmative sentence instead of any. 
Yeah, thank you so much. Excellent information. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so, did you have? Uh, did you check the the text the, that I have given you? Yeah, the one you gave us uh, the first time. Okay. Uh, try to to look for quantifiers on it. Miss, I studied better in the text. It's in the Discord. You can uh, find it in the Discord. Okay. It's the it's the first post. The first file. Supposedly it's uh, homework, but since you have not done it yet, so it's okay. We're gonna correct it together. No, no, I did it. I did it. Okay. Uh, should uh, were we supposed to spot all of the quantifiers and all of uh, the sentences showing? Uh, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. You just oh, okay. mentioned uh, just one, examples. Two or three. Okay. okay. Yes, yeah. because I didn't uh, there uh, all all of it. Uh, basically, it's like a review of the grammar because you already have dealt with it last year. No. I don't remember. You don't remember. Uh, what about the others? Have you studied quantifiers last year? Yes, Miss, we did. Okay, so great. Uh, try to look for quantifiers in the first paragraph. Who knows the answer? Awan, I guess you know the answer. You already sent me the, the exercise. Were we supposed to send the exercise too? Um, well, he sent it to me. It's her choice. It's his choice. Well, he's a guy. Yeah. If you want to, there is no problem. I'm just going to give you the feedback. I have free time. Okay. Yeah. So the first paragraph, I'm going to mention one. There are many types. So here, many, it's a quantifier. And some. Yeah. Uh, can you just read the whole sentence? Some keyboards have raised uh, are between. Have yeah, raised I areas think. between the keys. Some. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to check another. More. More. Yeah. Read the read the, the whole sentence. This key pressing pressing these keys requires a more deliberate action from the user. Yeah, here it shows the quantity. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, moving to prepositions, preposition of movements and uh, what it, where is I'm gonna read the uh, the question. Just a moment. Okay, this one. Preposition indicating positions, movement, and connection. What's the difference between prepositions that show uh, position and that show uh, connection? Do you know the difference? Uh, position like uh, on, at, in, and uh, move uh, on, uh, and relations. Ah, okay, relations. you just. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah. You just explain explain them one by one. Movement, position, and uh, the connection so that they will understand. If you could, of course. Uh, uh, one, uh, the, the, uh, the one I used to explain movement is... Uh, Explain movement, something moved from one place to the other, like uh, like to, yeah. I'm going to the school, I'm moving from yeah. the, my, where I am to the school. For, yeah. for place so to explain, moving, uh, yes. Yeah. So moving from one side, uh, from one side of place to another, that's it, the movement. Are you listening? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, carry on. Yeah, carry on. Uh, Salman. Yeah, carry on. What about uh, a place? Position or place? 
uh, to explain where something is. For example, the book is on the desk or on top of the desk or I am at the school. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. What about connection? Uh, connections uh, to explain the relations, uh, uh, the relations of ca ca uh, causality between two uh, two words. Yeah, uh, it's either a possession, a relationship, or accompaniment. For yes. example, you say, um, "I am from New York." This "from here" it's like it shows the origin. Yes, or the the the. I'm walking a sandwich of uh, uh, something off well, uh, when you use off. Yes, or for example, accompaniment when you say, for example, I'm walking with Jim or with John, so he is with me. I'm accompanying him, so this is accompaniment. And the relationship or position, uh, well, possession, sorry. Can you provide example of possession? Or you just look for it on uh, on the text. Connection in the text. There is a, there is a sentence. They are mainly connected to a computer. To a computer. So this is here. It shows connection to here. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. Uh, movement. Try to look on the text uh, preposition that shows the movement. Pardon. Yeah. partage d'écran. What is it? Partage, partage d'écran. Uh, well, I'm trying. Okay, I will try. You don't have the text. Yes, I don't have. Okay. I don't know why it doesn't work. Even the last time I tried to share my screen, but it didn't work. Why, Miss? I don't know. Technical problem. Yeah. I can't click on it. It's shown here, like share, but when you click on it, it doesn't work. Hold on, my telephone or PC? No, it's PC. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, moving on to uh, at least I, so you understood the idea of uh, quantifiers and uh, prepositions, you know them, the difference between this of, ta this of uh, position, movement and connection. Yeah? Uh, are you listening? I need my mother. Great. So you it's have understood. So you have understood the difference between preposition of uh, movements uh, and uh, connection. You can distinguish between them. No. No. I don't mind that. I have English with you. Okay, no problem. So this uh, preposition that shows movement, for example, you say, I go to school or, so this too, it shows the movement from one place to another. Have you understood? You are moving from one place, from one direction to another destination. Yes, yes, I understand. So this is the movement, yeah. But connection, for example, you say, uh, just like the examples I have already mentioned, um, okay. Uh, they are mainly connected to a computer. Connected to, it shows like the relationship or the connection between the computer and they. 
Have you understood here? Like keyboard means. Yes, yes, that's it. Connecting the yes. Connecting cable to computer. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yes. Uh, great. Now we are moving to uh, relative uh, relative clause. Yeah. Can you explain the difference between main clause and the relative clause? Do you know the difference? Uh, yes. Okay, go ahead. Explain. Uh, uh, it's uh, when uh, you say something. Uh, oh, yes, uh, f because uh, I love playing games because they are fun. I love playing games is the main clause, and because I love play, uh, because they are fun is the uh, is the is the supporting clause. Okay. Uh, also, for example, when you say, for example, the man. The man who is sitting there is tired. Here, who is sitting there, it's like additional information. We can omit it. So this is a relative clause because the main clause is the man is tired. But we added extra information. Who is sitting there? So here, it's relative clause. Have you understood? So the main clause, it's dependent. It's independent, sorry. But the relative clause is independent. Uh, is dependent and we cannot rely on it to understand or it's not the main one have you understood uh, would yes. you like would you like to provide me with other examples from your own okay Please I'm the connection examples uh, example of uh, relative clause like I mentioned, uh, okay, the man who is wearing a hat, who is wearing a hat is my brother. So instead of saying the man is my brother, I just added some information about him. I described him uh, just in uh, additional way. So this is who is wearing a hat. This is extra information and it is a, a relative clause. It's not the main sentence. Have you understood? It is dependent on oh, the okay. main clause. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to give other examples like this? A keyboard is an um, input uh, device which is used to enter data. After the which, uh, it's, uh, it's information in plus. You, you can uh, delete it from the sentence. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with your voice. I, I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. What have you said? Um, I said uh, a keyboard is an input device which is used to input data. We can delete the second part of the sentence. Because, uh, Thank you so much. Thank you. This is the best example. Thank you so much. And sometimes we refer to he, who, which, or that. It's like uh, they are relative pronouns. Um, for example, if you say, I like people who I can count on who I, after who that is I, it's like a subject. So here, this who refers to the object, not the subject, because if we refer to the subject, we are going to be use, uh, using a verb after who. Have you understood? For example, when you say the man who is, after who there is, is, who is sitting there. So we are describing the man, we are referring to the subject. But for example, if I say the man who I called yesterday, who I called, here who refers to the object, not the subject. Have you understood the difference between uh, the subject when we refer to the subject and the object? Is it clear? Yes. Sure. Is it clear, or should I give other examples? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, I didn't understand if it is clear it's or clear. not. Clear. clear. So please, you just go ahead and try to give examples about uh, well, relative clause. Waiting uh, for your answers. Yeah. No, no one likes Fred because he stinks. No one likes Fred because he stinks. Um, yes, it's a relative clause. Who is Fred? Fred. Uh, it's just a random person. I didn't want to offend anyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Another person. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to give you a simple sentence and you just tell me uh, whether who here refers to the subject or the object, okay? I like people who are responsible. This who here refers to the subject or the object. What do you think? The object. The well, object. No, it's not the object. It's not the it's not the object because it's the subject because I like people who are after who that is are it's a verb so who here refers to the subject refers to people okay so people who are responsible so who here refers to the subject is it clear when it refers to the object we don't mention after it it's not followed by verb is it clear uh, yes, yes, it is. Clear. Oh, it is time, uh, teacher. It is time. It's one hour, right? Uh, it's one hour. Normally, we were supposed to have extra half hour. Uh, I think we have already agreed on that. Oh, we will do another half hour now, or? Uh... Yes, yes, now. Oh, okay. Maybe it's going to be like a quarter or 20 minutes. Okay, and then I will just set you free. Okay. Great. I'm gonna give you another example. I like the guy who is wearing blue jeans. What do you think? The subject. It's the subject because after who there is is. So here who, it refers to the guy. Okay. Uh, that's the man who called me yesterday. Subject. Subject. It is the subject. Thank subject. You. Who said the object? Me. Uh, well, it's not the object because that's the man who called me after... So, for the subject, that's the action, and the object receives the action. Have you understood? Yes. Yes, miss. Yeah. Yeah. The boy who is carrying a heavy uh, bag is tired. Subject. Yeah, so it's yeah. kind of, uh, yes, it's subject, subject. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Karim, who was my teacher in, two, in 2010, taught me about parts of my speech. Uh, parts of speech. Yes, he's uh, is, uh, the, is, the, uh, is the actor, the, the, the uh, not the, uh, the subject. Subject. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna repeat it. It's the subject. Thank you, sir. For those who answer object, it's not because Mr. Karim, who was, after who there is the verb to be in the past form, was. So it's automatically the subject. It refers to the subject. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And do you know about reduced relative clause? Do you have idea about reduced relative clause? Uh, is it with ing or something like that? That's it. There are three nice. ways to reduce and to make it short. The sentence make it short. We're trying to avoid using who, which, and that by using ing or past participle of the verb. Or the third way is being plus past participle. I'm going to give you an example. For example, you say uh, people who live in the Middle East are, give me example, uh, give me adjective, uh, are responsible. Okay. The or Middle are, Eastern people are responsible. Okay. Here, here, people who live after who there is live. Yeah. We can say, for example, People, people live in, in the Middle live, East. Yeah, we just add ing to shorten and to make it short. Is it no, clear? No. 
Great. The second way, the second way in order to reduce the relative clause, for example, um, for example, uh, the ring, the ring that was given to me by my mother is very pricey or is very expensive. So instead of saying uh, that was given, we just omit was and that, and it will become the ring given to me by my mother uh, is uh, expensive. Have you understood? We yes. omit mm -hmm. was we omit was given was given, and we uh, we just that was given, and we just uh, write it with given only. Is it clear? Yes. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to give you an example and you try to reduce it. The song that was sung first at the concert was beautiful. Uh, the sang song was beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. We have just omitted or dropped that was and we kept only the past participle. Yes. Okay, for being, the third way is to add being, like I, B plus A and G, and uh, the past participle. For example, the food items are scanned, that are scanned, so really need to be put into bags. We say the food items, and we omit that are scanned, we say directly being scanned need to be put into bags. But the tenses have to match, no? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, you said the items that were scanned. Um, no, 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 no. That are scanned. Yes, that are scanned. Uh, uh -huh. The tense is the past, but uh, using being, it's... Uh, it's no, a it's not. Present. Why, why, is, are, why is it are past? Is the present. Yes. Are, the, it's the present, yeah. Yes. Is it uh, is it okay so far? Yes. Uh, great. Okay, I'm gonna write down the the sentence in order not to confuse you. The food. Food items. So it becomes all the food items being to look at. Now we are moving to quanti uh, no, not quantifiers, cause and effect. Give me a sentence using cause and effect. Uh, the house be uh, the got destroyed because an earthquake hit the, the city. Thank you so much. So the cause and the effect. Give me another uh, another example. Another example. Uh, I, I fell asleep because I was too tired. Exhausted. Yes, same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we eat too much food and not exercise, we gain weight. Thank you. Okay, so just, uh, for example, I didn't come last time because I was tired. So the cause and the result. The others.
Well, on the text, where is cause and effect on the text? Uh, try to look for it on the, the paragraph of uh, adaptive, uh, adaptive keyboards. There is an example, I guess. Are you listening? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, try to look for it. Try to look for it. There is an example of cause and effect. So we could we could we could express cause and effect using due to, because, since, thus, so, so that. Yes. Yeah, try to provide examples or look for it on the text. It's the easiest one, I guess. I, I don't think I found one. Okay. Which paragraph? The uh, adaptive keyboard, you said. Okay, okay. Oh, no, I said I didn't find one. I couldn't find it. You couldn't find it. Well, I found one, but I forgot which text I am. Okay. You just give me examples from your own. Don't look on the text. Miss, I found one in the textbook. I don't know if uh, it's a cause and effect relation. Okay, which, uh, which, uh, give me the title of the paragraph. In adaptive keyboards. Uh, just a moment. I'm gonna go back. From some keyboards have raised areas between the keys. Uh, this allows a person to replace. No. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 wait a second. Adaptive keyboards. Where is it? Raise between. Uh, but where is the? But where is the cause and effect here? Uh, the, uh, the cause. Some keyboards have raised areas between the keys. Mm -hmm. the effect, this allows a person to place their hands on the key. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So this is the, the effect or the consequences of the. Uh, yeah. So please try try to give me examples from your own using uh, because mm -hmm. since or whatever, and then we will leave. Okay. I love school because I learn stuff in school. Thank you. Another person, not only you. Thank you. I can't play football because I'm sick. Thanks. I'm not going to out because it's uh, it's raining out there. It's raining cats and dogs. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, miss. Another person. No one? Okay, so see you next time. If you have any questions, you uh, I'm going to give you the review of uh, this grammar part in case you want to to revise or something and we will meet next week inshallah okay uh, but, 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 do, do we have to send the text and uh, the exercises uh, now do you have to send them through the email 
Uh, what is it? Uh, you or me? What are you talking about? No, do I have to send the exercise uh, solved? Ah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Send it to me and then I will... Uh, like, uh, will, will we be graded on them? Yes, I'm going to give you a point on that. It will be ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, just a second. I'm going to take a picture of the prisons and then you leave. It's raining now. Who is singing? <laughs> Who is singing? Nice voice. Okay, see you next time, inshallah. Take care of yourselves.